As doctors of chiropractic, we believe in the power of the human body to heal itself. The evidence continues to support the effectiveness of chiropractic in enhancing a patient's overall health and well-being without the use of drugs or surgery. We know that now, more than ever, people are calling out for proactive health care solutions. We are ready for the challenge. We will answer their call. Chiropractic became known to the world in 1895 when Daniel David Palmer founded the profession in Davenport, Iowa. The name chiropractic derived from the Greek language and means done by hand. Palmer went on to establish the fountainhead of chiropractic colleges. Throughout the 20th century, doctors of chiropractic gained legal recognition in all 50 states. In Tennessee, the first doctors of chiropractic appeared in 1910 in Memphis and Knoxville. By 1912, Chattanooga and Nashville were represented. And in 1923, Tennessee established chiropractic as a licensed profession. Realizing the profession would be more effective if they worked together and spoke with a unified voice, the Tennessee Chiropractic Association was formed on March 14, 1935. The following year, Tennessee's first and only school with a chiropractic curriculum was formed as the Nashville College of Drugless Therapy. Tennessee had one chiropractic college, and it was here in Nashville, and its founder was Dr. Guy Cheatham. They also had a clinic during that time down on Boscobel Street, which is now the 50-yard line of the Titans Stadium. The school was in existence from 1936 to about 1947. 